you can adjust your sets all you want. It may not help. Carl Nelson on this week's Imagine It, the princess and the pop star is here. Good morning to you. Good morning. <laughs> you know, it's the time of year when it's really dry outside. Yeah. You start to notice <laughs> static electricity more. Okay. All right. right. And so, you know, you walk across the carpet, you shuffle your feet, you build up a little charge, you touch the doorknob, you get a shock, right? Yeah. Same thing with a balloon on this hair. I needed, <laughs> I needed the accessory hair this morning. Right? Oh. So, is it pulling my hair away? Is it yep. building up a charge? Sure, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, okay. there it goes. So, this balloon now has some sort of charge on it. That pop can is electrically neutral. Okay. It's got equal numbers of positive and negative charges, and opposites attract, like charges repel. So <laughs> if we bring this over near the pop can and don't touch it, I should be able to get, I need more charge. Should be able to get the pop can to move because I'm gonna separate the charge. I'm trying to pay attention, but you're okay. like a pink Einstein. Okay, here we go, look at that, look at that, look at that. Okay, so at home, you can build up enough charge in a balloon to move a pop can. Oh, cool. Okay, it's an empty pop can. Yeah. But something way better than that it came across. Okay. Is this thing. This little device has a motor inside. I'll give you one. Oh boy. And when you press the button, you can hear that, it builds up a little bit of static charge on the wand. Really? Okay, and it's not, it's not enough to zap you or anything, so you're not, you're not gonna get hurt or anything. Um, you could probably move a pop can a little bit oh, better. Neat. Okay? Wow. But, remember from Christmas a while back, right? Mm -hmm. Tinsel. All right? This stuff is electrically neutral. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it, let it pick up some charge from this wand, and let's see what happens, okay? So I'm going to zap it a little bit, and Whoa. now, Whoa. okay, zap your stone. <laughs> Think, think Star Wars here, wow. right? <laughs> Trust in the electrostatic force because oh, wow. we have equal charges on both. I'm going to pass that one to you, and it's under your wow. total control. Okay? It surrounds us. It binds us. It so equal charge us together Whoop. on both. Oh, <laughs> that equal, is equal charges or like charges else. repel, and that's all we're doing here. And in fact, if you were at home and you didn't have one of these little gizmos, which we're going to start selling in our gift shop at the, at <laughs> I would the, say, at the uh, sign Science me up. Center. Where's my wallet? But you don't even need one of these. You could <laughs> even take a balloon wow. and do the same sort of thing, right? Like charges repelling one another. Tony, go ahead and see if you can pull off that uh, okay. paper from there. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. Yoink. Here we got another one. Let's see if we can do this. We got, need to let it touch and build up a charge and then shake it off. And I think I may have trashed this one. Hmm. Okay. Let's go back to the wands. The wands are cool <laughs> because you can, this stuff is so light that you can actually, the electrostatic charge will overcome the force of gravity and allow it to float near. Charge up your wand and see if you and can. And that's not your typical aluminum foil. This is a, this is a really thin piece of mylar, like a, a metal balloon wow. or like tinsel <laughs> from a tree. So oh, all wow. sorts of cool things you can do with electrostatics if you have the right stuff. In fact, you can do this at home again with a balloon and some tinsel. You could put the blast shield down and then try to deflect. You it's, could. Yeah, right. <laughs> and I think you need some Star Wars sort of sound effects here, Tony. <laughs> that is excellent. Wow. So we do this stuff down at the Science Center. So come down and check out. I don't out blame you. I like do this all the time. It's just kind of mesmerizing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been a really interesting Imagine It, Carl. But uh, yeah, the Science Center, as you mentioned, has the hours on your screen. It's at One Discovery Way. The Imagination Station there open today. You can rush down there in just a few minutes and say, where can I find these? Are they on sale yet? But Give not, us a couple weeks. A couple yet. weeks, we'll have them in the store. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks very much, Carl. And that's this week's Imagine It. Now we're going to try uh, not-so-science-fiction-y battle with sports. <laughs>